Now, to be honest, man, I've seen this for years. Like, since I've been about 15, I've been working out, right? And in, maybe it's because I got it down so early, but pe I've just always seen how people respect you automatically without knowing anything about you when you when you work out, when you're in good shape. Even people who don't know you will create an idea of you just based on your physique. And it's weird, but it's probably like the closest experience you get to being like a hot girl as a guy when you're when you're in good shape. You just get treated in a certain way. And it's really strange, man, but so many people that I've met, that I've never met before, who knew me through, you know, maybe they saw a picture of me back when I was on Instagram, they just had this kind of pre-respect that was already built in their minds because of how I looked. And I've always found this interesting, man. I want to, I want to speak about this because this is on a really interesting level in terms of respect. Now, I've never... I've never really been one to like seek lots of respect from from people. I, I don't know why. I just it's just not something my ego craves. I, I'd say my my ego has craved love from women a lot more. But respect, I don't know, man. I just it's not really been a thing that I've been needing too much. My ego's sort of uh, strength and health and solidity. Now I say that, but at the same time, I've definitely 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 for my ego, I've wanted you know a certain level of respect, a certain level of recognition for working out. Um, and I suppose it's because I burnt through that nice and early that I didn't really, I haven't really needed to, mm, I just don't need any of that right now. Like I, I like what I've actually done in the past few years, man, is I've actually dropped from my ego that, uh, identity that I'm this, I'm a guy in good shape or especially being jacked. Like I've just dropped that man. And it's, it's really nice actually. It means I don't, you know, when I go out, I'm actually not really fussed about looking too good or, you know, rolling up my t-shirt 3,000 times like I used to do. <laughs> and what's interesting is, you know, you, you'll actually forget, if you, when you're in good shape, you will forget that you're in good shape sometimes when you've kind of dropped it a bit and you'll still see people respecting you, you know, but to be fair, when it's very much in, in your mind, like, oh yeah, I look good, um, people will uh, definitely um, respect you and, and they don't really have a choice. It's just what we do, it's just kind of how we respond naturally to someone when they've developed themselves in that way. And just going back for a second to the idea of people almost building an idea of you, um, even though they've never really met you or they don't really speak to you too much. What's interesting is anytime I've spoken to someone who they sort of think they know me, but they've built an image of me in their minds through how I might look, it does make you think, man, no one ever knows you. They've just got your idea. They've just got their idea of, of you. And you know, it's so interesting. It makes you realize like, wow, the world is, is literally just appearances. Like what is the reality of you when the other person just sees an, like this outer object surface level body thing and then creates an idea of you? It makes you think some weird shit, man. It gets you thinking stuff like, man, people don't know me. Because to, to know one is to have a, a sort of a soul conversation, or a deep conversation where you actually, you know, their higher self and your higher self recognize and speak to each other and coexist in this space where, you know, it's just pure. But when, when, when there's this like body that creates an image and it's just like, it's just like, dude, that's not even me though. <laughs> it's like, who, who are you talking to? That's, that's sometimes how I've thought. And I'll be completely honest, there's been a few times where I've spoken to people and they're very, very, very like in awe of how, how I used to look. I used to be a bit more bulky and muscular and some people will be like, dude, no, no, you don't understand. You're fucking jacked, man. And what's interesting is you learn not necessarily something about yourself because you, you sort of know who you are, but you learn a lot about the other person and what they're seeing. And so anytime someone uh, says something about you, what well, really, you probably know this already, that's what they have within them and that's what they're projecting onto you. And so in a certain sense, what you can do here is you can kind of just stand in awareness or as awareness and just be neutral and calm and see and you know and, and allow this person to project onto you without reacting without having your ego be involved and just let them do that because that's what people do but then you can also see wow from this awareness i can see that i'm not their idea of of me and i'm also not my idea of me i'm actually something much much more profound something that can see this whole thing that's got to be me right if i can see this thing like surely that that ultimate foundational level of reality surely that's me and you know if you investigate if you meditate if you contemplate that is you you'll see that, that is you right that self-inquiry have a look who am i if you look you'll see that you're not this you're not a body even if you've worked out a bunch you're not that body and this is where 
you might go from a sort of gym bro to someone who's a bit more self-aware and someone who's, who's thinking in a more open and profound way. Someone who's maybe being a bit more philosophical or existential thinking, you know, what is it? How is it that this person is speaking to me, but they're not really speaking to me, they're speaking to themselves. They're speaking to the part of them that they're seeing in me. And yet I've just got this body and like, it just makes you think stuff, man. And this is why you can make a lot of progress on this path by starting to get jacked. It's weird, right? But when you do things to like a really high level, like whether it be making a lot of money or sleeping with lots of people and you wanna do that or getting really jacked, you'll get to a certain point and you will start thinking, you know, hmm, you're like, it's weird. Like the universe gets you to that point through, you know, or your ego gets to that point. And then you'll get to a certain level where you start thinking more deeply about the thing. You'll start questioning it. You'll start seeing, okay, I've, kind of, I've caught here, I'm here, but I'm not really fulfilled. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing the universe engage with me, by which I mean other people. Other people are engaging with me but they're only seeing themselves. And this whole thing will get you to, to think, you know, well, yeah, again, what, who am I? What am I? So in other words, dissatisfaction at like a really high level thing will get you to contemplate and it will get you to think things like, man, I mean, do I even need to be jacked? Do I even need to make a ton of money? Do I even need to be sleeping with tons of women or guys or whatever? It gets you thinking. And so to continue on this thread, what I would say is, dude, definitely be contemplating. You know, you could literally just be like an a hundred hours away from your next level of, of development or your next sort of phase just because you did the contemplation work, right? It's something that I don't say enough and I really should say more, man, which is so much of this work is contemplation. Think deeply in a deliberate way. And when you do that, try to unlock your mind, try to get answers to questions. And, and what you're doing really, man, you know, it, it's inner work. You're doing the inner work as you contemplate. Okay, this is what it's about, man. Like, the reason why I've got to where I am today is because I've done a shitload of, of contemplation, man. Yeah, you know, you've got meditation, you've got retention, you've got self-discipline, you've got awakening work, you've got consciousness work. I mean, you know, actually contemplation is consciousness work, but contemplation seriously helps with this path. It seriously helps you uh, just progress mentally and internally and spiritually because you are thinking deeply. You're just, it's weird, man. The universe wants you to do this. The universe wants you to level up and you've got to do that by facing these little, these thoughts that, you know, are deep and you've got to go into them and you've got to really say, you know, man, what is this? What am I not seeing here? You've got to do this inquiry and this contemplation, man. And it really will pay off, by the way. Nice one, man. We'll wrap things up there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different style of video. I do actually have these kind of conversations with my clients often, not necessarily just pure coaching or pure mentoring. Sometimes it's a bit more of this sort of open, conscious discussion where we sort of share very true feelings. I do enjoy that, that way of working. Um, if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description below. Uh, otherwise, my friend, as always, take care and peace.